All right, people, welcome back. More card review. So, I've been gone for three months. There have been plenty of cards that have came out, I swear to God. But let's go ahead and start off with the most relevant ones, in my opinion, and then we'll move on to less relevant ones and uh, maybe some of your suggestions. If you guys would like me to review a specific card, then go ahead and comment in the comment section below, and I will give you my opinion of the card eventually. So today we are looking at, might be a very powerful card. We have yet another one of those little girl zombie cards. You know, we have cherries and we have ghost ogre. So we have yet another one. It seems like they might be like an archetype, but I don't know because they just don't seem, they're like they're all really standalone. They don't seem to have any real synergy with each other. Yes, today we are looking at ghost ash and spring flowers. So she is a fire zombie tuner effect monster, level three, zero attack, 1800 defense. So, I mean, she's level three, she's a tuner, the 18 defense booty is not terrible. So, but we, we don't come here for the stats of these, uh, these little ladies. We come here for them, them, that effect, that hand trap effect. So what is hers? So her effect reads, during either player's turn, your opponent would activate a card or effect that includes an effect that adds a card, cards from the main deck to the hand. All right, Rhoda, Tanky, Pot of Desires. Stop that. Okay, that's not the tarot. Special summons a monster from the main deck. Okay, so some things like Summoner Monk and, uh, and that Zodiac spell card. That That's pretty powerful. Oh, Momorot too. You know, stop that. Uh, or sends a card of cards from the main deck to the graveyard, except during the damage step. Okay, so Foolish, Foolish Better Belongings. Stopping all that, enabling. Okay. We can discard this card. Negate that effect. You can only use the effect of Ghost Ash and Spring Flowers once per turn. So, it doesn't destroy. It doesn't destroy. Uh, ghost, it's kind of like weirdly comparable with uh, Ghost Ogre. Ghost Ogre destroys, but doesn't negate. This negates, but doesn't destroy. They are, they're both, you know, situationally interesting, you know, and they have their niches, you know, I would definitely not want a Ghost Ogre or Rhoda, but I'll definitely, you know, Ghost Ash or Rhoda, I definitely don't want to, you know, negate something that can possibly uh, remain on the field because it doesn't destroy, like, for example, it can negate Xaver and Ogre because it summons something from the deck, yes. But it doesn't destroy the Invoker, and if I can't get rid of the Invoker, the Invoker can just activate the effect next turn. While Ghost Ogre, I can pop the Invoker, but then the Invoker would still resolve its effect to summon. Unless it doesn't have to be on the field resolve effect, but I, I, I don't think I think that it would just still resolve the summon. Uh, so, you know, they both, they both have their niches. Um, similar to, like, Effect Veiler, you know, while it is another one of those... Uh, zombie lady hand trap girls she she's really similar to effect veiler and it's a constructive neck when you pitch you're gonna neck you're gonna neck you know for example if you like i said the invoker play you summon invoker you activate the effect i pitch this i pitch the hand for my i pitch this card for my hand hypothetically you're going first i have five i pitch this i drop down to four but i i negged but i stopped you similar to effect veiler i negged i Stop your monster fact, I neg, but it's a constructive neg, you know? And then at times you could even out, you know, like if your opponent activates desires and activates foolish, they use one card, you negate it, you use one card, they use one card. So um, this card is actually pretty good. It really is. It's just similar to effect veiler, it's situationally good. Um, now, which one's better, Ghost Ogre or Ghost Ash? That's it's debatable, it really is. Uh, I mean, it's nice that I can even out with Ghost Ogre because I do destroy the cards, so that's cool and all, but it doesn't stop anything. While this stops something, but potentially what I stop will give me a neg. So, even out, neg, destroying, negating, I mean, I'd probably say Ghost Ash is just a little bit stronger just because when it comes to negating, it's nice to turn it off, you know? Like, oh yeah, well I can, you know, go ahead and pop the, the Invoker, but it's still going to get the summon, you know? Uh, and there's some things that this card can stop that Ghost Ogre can't do anything about, like Foolish Barrel, Blongy, Desires, like, just the fact that I can play triple of these, and then, you know, go second, you try to play Desires to go that plus one, and I'll be like, nah, how about we both just go neg one, but as long as you don't plus, that's not fine. As long as you don't plus, as long as you don't get set up, then it's, I'll take the neg, you know? It's kind of like, maybe like the opposite of Maxi. Maxi is like, keep on going, but I'm gonna get resources. This is like, you know, stop what you're doing, whether it be 
you know, trying to get cards in your hand to set you up, trying to summon a monster from your deck to, you know, set you up with additional plays, or, um, you know, sending cards from your deck uh, to the graveyard, which is, you know, Foolish at 1 and the Wall of Chain ban, is also setting up as well. So preventing setup can be nice as well. So I'll take Neg to prevent you from going any farther. So I can definitely see why OCG plays triple of this, but they also play triple Ghost Ogre and triple Maxi, and it's super hand-trapping, you know? You just want to kind of open up with these cards and just be like, haha, I'm going second, you chose first. It's, you know, especially with Zodiac, seems like, oh, we're leaning more towards a going first format because, you know, your opponent hasn't set up and you just go off. And especially since, you know, it's like, oh, well, you start with one last card, but when I can plus over that six, then, and get set up, then awesome, you know, I'd rather go first. So when you have them slower traps that, you know, can only be played during your turn, these hand traps, they get, they get popular, they really do. So I can definitely see this card, this card being played in the meta, definitely side deck, because it's a really great card, it really is, so. Right, that's my opinion on Ghost Ash, it's a constructive neg, <laughs> just like Effect Veiler, situationally good. And when it is, I mean, it, but it has a lot more situations than Effect Veiler, so. Tell me what you guys think about Ghost Ash and Spring Flowers in the comments section below. So, this has been another card review. Of course, I will be back next week with some more cards to look at. Uh, like I said, Mondays and Wednesdays at 12 p.m. Pacific. So, if you guys have any cards that you would like for me to discuss, for me to review, then please, in the comments section below, put it down. And then when I get a chance and I deem it worthy of being looked at and discussed, then I will go ahead and do that. So, it doesn't have to be necessarily new cards. It could be old cards as well. Um, if you looking at a particular card that you're thinking about citing for this format, I can review it and get my input on it. And generally, I'll stick to the f and give inputs on the format, to, uh, how it works in the format as well. You know, uh, you know, it's not too much of a competitive channel here in Evil Mastery, but I can be a competitive player. So you know, I think I'm fairly knowledgeable in the game. I can give my input if you really want it. So. Uh, if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button, hit that bell for notifications, and uh, I will see you guys tomorrow with more Yu-Gi-Oh! content, because you guys get Yu-Gi-Oh! content every single day on this channel. So, thank you guys for watching, thank you all for support, and I will see you guys tomorrow with some more Yu-Gi-Oh! stuff. Alright, thanks for watching.